we took a huge chunk of land from the Ottomans in the last war. Uh, it looks like Poland took like no land from them, to be honest with you. Looks like they took some land over here and that's it. But um, yeah, no, Ottomans got absolutely thrashed in that previous episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it if you watched it. And if you haven't watched it, what are you doing? Get over there and watch it and then come back here and watch this one. But I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Welcome back to Persia and Flavor Universalis. I have been having a heck of a time with this campaign up to this point. I really do genuinely hope you guys have been as well. And uh, I would like for you to take a second and leave me a comment on the videos in, down below. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Otto is attacking mams. Well, that's fine with me. I would like to attack the mams soon. So, But uh, leave a comment down below. Kind of let me know how you feel about this campaign. What sort of things that you've been picking up on things that you appreciate things that maybe you don't appreciate as much i would like to uh, get that sort of feedback because obviously i want to make videos that you guys are um enjoying and if you if there are things that you would change i like that feedback as long as it's constructive and you're not being a douche i uh, i really am open to it trade efficiency for free say no more fam i wish i would win a siege that'd be nice as soon as i can annex him i will very good very nice and now I can yoink this dev here, like I was talking about. I will ant core you up, and then as soon as our... Wait a minute. Oh, right. Emirati has cores over here. That's fine. Let's get you guys grouped up, and then have you go siege down, rise on. Should be pretty straightforward. But uh, yes, I hope you guys are enjoying. So far, I have been. All right. Let's uh, see if we can catch these guys real quick. Because I don't want them to come down and siege down land that I'm trying to... You know what? Screw it. Nope. Screw it. Screw it. We're going to occupy these guys ASAP. I bet that's their whole army. It is. <laughs> so uh, pretty easy. I can lose some admin mana. That's fine with me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everybody and get them up on Ryzon. Probably can piece them out right now. I can indeed. Yes, I will actually take some money from you as well. 12 ducats because screw you. That's why. That is why. All right, let's recall you. Let's uh, annex you and take your money. That will give us another mission, which is solid. Province is under siege. Oh, no. We'll, we'll get over there. That will give me another mission, subjugate the Caucasus, which will give us some permanent claim. Georgian slaves in the empire event. Uh, they will prosper in our great empire. We have decided we are going the route of tolerance in this campaign. So, displaying lenience will open up some other stuff in uh, the future. So, I think tolerance is the way. Tolerance, diversity is our strength, right? And that what uh, people say online or in big, large corporations, like they care about the color of your skin. Here we go. Prestige is solid. We'll go with the prestige and then I can core this province up after we siege it back. And then it's about that time that we got to war with these guys. So it looks like they outnumber us significantly, but they don't. They really don't. That will allow us to take a couple of provinces over here. So let's see here. What sort of... So this is not something we're going to be able to do soon. This one, maybe. Permanent claim on Arabia region. Wow. Gain a Carrick flagship Shaw's Pride of Odishi. Maybe we do want to attack these guys. They're calling Transoxiana. I have lots of claims on them. It's going to get us another coalition. <laughs> Oh, uh, all right. Let's see here. I don't want border the, the, um, the mams. So I don't know. We'll see. Georgian separatists. Yep. You'll have that. Let's have you guys. Let's actually have you guys not do that. Let's have you guys shuffle split real quick. Okay. First of all, let's have you guys come up here. Kill those rebels. Because of course, have you guys come over here and have you guys come down here. That is the shuffle split that I was looking for. These guys will head down here to um, suppress rebels. And we do need to start considering how we want to go about um, dealing with the mams. At the very least, I would like to attack the mams and like crush them. But we also like we need to expand in basically every direction. So let's take a look at what's going on over here. The textile industry, six provinces that is cloth, wool or cotton has to have a workshop and a manufacturing. And I don't think we have the technology for cloth and for cloth manufacturers yet. Do we not? Let me see here. Um, is there an easy way to see this? 
we do have textile manufacturing. Okay. So let's do let's do a couple of those textile manufacturers. Um I don't have any like building slots in any of these country any of these states. Let's um Let's do that there. Let's see here. This cloth, this is cloth down here and here. Oh my gosh, that is so lucrative. All right. Yeah, we're going to make a lot of money from this. No doubt we'll be able to spawn global trade. Yeah, dash of Stan. And we'll be able to get these guys all upgraded as well. So they'll have the workshop. So how many did we need? I think it said eight, six. All right. So how many is that that I just started building? That is... One, two, three. All right. I'm going to go indebted to the burgers for this one. The sooner we do it, the better. It'll also scale better in the long game. So that's fine. Build you there. And then you, you. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that will get that mission done eventually. Uh, they also have to have, oh, or seven base production. Eh, it's fine. I'm good with this. They're all in Basra or... You know, they're in a node that is either upstream or in Persia. So I'm fine with it. Now, I will pay off the rest of these loans or the rest of the loan that we have. And uh, that will allow that. So let's get these guys cored up here and uh, continue working on our economy a bit. Once we finish up that mission there, encourage Persian poetry, which we'll be able to do, which gives us royal poetry of Safavid Persia. Chinese ceramics. Okay. Splendid court. Level three advisors. Okay, that will give us some crown land, actually. That would be really good. Let us yoink some crown land. And let's upgrade our advisors to level three. I don't think there's anything holding us back from that. Do we have any cheaper advisors? That would be nice. This guy is half off by the looks of it. Is he not? Is that just how cheap our level three advisors are? I feel like that's affordable, right? So, <clears throat> yeah, this guy's a discount. The, the dev cost guy. So, let's go with a... We just don't have enough money to upgrade our boys, sadly. Let's go with you. We'll upgrade this guy since we already have him. Trade efficiency. Yes, please. And manpower recovery. Look at that. Almost 900. Take a look at our income now. 45 from trade. So good. And I think it's actually about that time. We're very close to this one. Nuh-uh, really. Ishmael died. Well, long live Hadir. Haidar? Hi Haidar? Luckily, our region is not too bad. And she's an entrepreneur, so we get a little bit of trade efficiency. That's unfortunate, though, man. Does that stop our chance of getting Splendid Court? No, we will still be able to get that. So let's upgrade you. And then we'll just hire a level 3 guy. It's fine. Let's convert everything, of course. Once we're done coring it, we'll be able to uh, get it all converted. Not bad. Just a matter of waiting for it. Um, What in the world? 25? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think I will. So we're just waiting on this here, which is going to be up in, uh, what is this, August? No, July. July 3rd, very good. Now we can click all these guys here, which will give me a lots of money, which I like money. Oh, but your base tax, mm, you're gonna get more money from base tax if you wait. Like, I get comments, people like, if you actually play the game, like, 185 years, you'll be able to make up the base tax that you that you just burnt. And I'm like, yes, but I'll also be able to build a building that will make me more money in the long term. Right? Uh -huh. Thinking with your dipstick, Jimmy. Let's uh, build a couple more manufacturers in the cloth provinces. Oh, my gosh. That's going to give us so much money. So good. So this one we're just waiting on, and then we need to upgrade our guy there. I said I was going to do that, and I haven't done it yet. But that's all I need to do for this uh, this mission here. Let's buy you. Let us click that. Advisor cost 20 years is really good, and five crown lands is really good. Um, where are they? Oh, okay. <laughs> so yearly corruption for 25 years. Monthly admin power is nice. Equilibrium from our vassals. Government reform progress is nice as well. So this one has nobility influence is lower than 30, control of land is lower than 10, or I do not have the nobility estate. Well, I reckon that they're pretty close to being below 10. 
Very close to being below 10. So that's solid. We can do that easy enough. Um, so we can work through that easy. Uh, and then we have either absolutism or parliamentarism. So if we enact parliamentarism, we can do that. But you can't do that as a feudal theocracy. Oh, we can actually. Let's just do that, actually. The parliament is solid. A lot of people hate on parliament, but it's pretty good. Uh, manpower until the end of the game gives 15% manpower. And every own province with a military building will gain one manpower dev. That is incredible. As far as this one goes, let's go with... We might as well stick with our advisor costs. Keep stacking them up. You wait one month. And you click on the bl uh, or parliament. And then we have to lose 5 prestige. And we get 10% advisor costs for whatever it is. 20 years. So we get these level 3 advisors for 8 ducats a month. That's really solid for how much mana you get from that. That is incredible, actually. So before we do any diplo tech, we're going to make sure we are taking... Uh, our ideas. I'm going to wait till the yearly tick. If you're not getting innovativeness, there's no point in taking it early. Uh, let's go with the ship trade power propagation, I suppose. None of those are particularly useful. And let's pay off our loans. So this is a missions and deving slash economic ver uh, video. And I hope that you guys are cool with that. We are in the number one great power until Ming uh, embraces institution, at which point we will be number two, but still. That's some pretty good uh, trajectory there. I am so excited for this one. Sava is owned by Persia. Okay, so where is this Sava? Okay, I have this province. <laughs> and it says that I need to have it at least 10 base production and have a manufactory. Am I building a manufactory there? I am not. Well, that's a mistake. Admin 14? Son of a biscuit. Oh, never mind. <laughs> 10 base tax or base dev, which I can do. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Let's um, put these guys on dev cost. Oh, that's going to be expensive. That's going to be very expensive. It's going to be super expensive. I'm going to do it. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> we'll be able to get trade ideas in due time. In very short order, we'll be able to get it. So might as well. Do it while we can. The fact that I didn't, I dev the institution here and I didn't use any of that at all is a, a little poetic, but that's okay. And we just need to conv continue converting everything and we will have no more unrest. What a beautiful world we live in, right? Look at that interest. I have two loans worth 720 ducats or 760 ducats and I pay 0.6 ducats a month in interest. Very good. Let's take that. Protect the innovativeness. Our uh, men can be upgraded, so we will upgrade our units which is always a good choice. Upgrade our stability. And I don't care if you think it's a bad idea because I like to do it. I'm going to do these clicks, get them up to 10. And that way, whenever this uh, these buildings get built, we'll be able to do that. So let's see here. Where are my manufacturers at, huh? Is it not showing up? Let me see here. Where is that? Let's go. That will be under... Um, Where would that be here? City sprawl, I suppose. There we go. Yep, I like those little little bars. They're a nice little um, visual help. Shiraz. The people are pleased. Very good, yes. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I got rid of our nobility, which is great. Gave us some crown land. Well, I think it might have actually given land, crown land to our, va our uh, other estates, which is fine with me as well. So, look at this. We we're at 39... 42, just from those buildings finishing for the rest of the game. And I'll pay off my loans because I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I have a good credit score, you know? We pay off our loans around here. If I actually had this up to level 3, it would actually give us... Um, it would actually give us some bonuses to our dev costs in the surrounding area, so I should do that. That would be intelligent. So I should do that. Let's do that. Let's wait until we get a little bit of extra money. Can I... Nope. We cannot yoink any money. Sadly. This is fine. I think it's about time we integrated these guys as well. There's no reason to be holding on to them as a vassal. They're not a useful vassal. So let's improve with them until we can get up. That will allow us to get a holy war on uh, the MAMs, which would be really nice. 
So Ottomans got absolutely spanked in these two wars and then it went on immediately to win a war against their like mortal rival, which is uh, hilarious. Let's influence them. And then we will send them a small loan of a million ducats. Uh-huh. Send a gift. There you go. And now I will begin the annexation process. Take a look at this. Nice little life hack. If you didn't know, it will be done in 53. But this is all one state. You click this and click that. Now it will be done in 52. There you go. Plus that dev was just sent over to our capital. So solid stuff, right? So I'm waiting until we get 1,000 ducats so I can upgrade Tehran, which will increase our trade income here as well as give us some bonuses. Oh, shoot. The innovativeness is nice, but I don't think we can afford that right now. Let's get an extra merchant here and steer from La Sex Worker. They will steer through here. So instead of 8.14, we're going to be getting... Okay, looks like some people were were doing moving some stuff around, but still. Oh, we're steering directly into Persia. Uh, let's see if steering into Samarkand is better. 48.5, 48.4, directly into Persia is giving us 50. So it's better to steer directly into Persia. Um... I guess we'll go to the level two guy. We don't need all that mill mana. Now, where are we at on here? Oh, shoot. Cloth, wool, or cotton. Well, I'm dumb. I'm sure people were screaming at me in the comments. Cloth, wool, or cotton. That's these guys here. Wool. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, you guys saw nothing. You saw nothing. You saw nothing in, at all, I promise. All right, let's go indebted to the burgers. <laughs> oh, I'm so embarrassed. All right, that's three. Four. Five. Six. Let's see here. Might as well. Seven. There we go. That'll help out a bit as well. Uh, I think I still need to build some workshops in those provinces, if I recall correctly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oopsies. Well, that's fine. Like I said, that that uh, will up our income quite a bit. We will. We are actually on track right now to spawn global trade, like pretty handedly. So, at the worst case scenario, is we spawn global trade anyways, and uh, we're in a better spot because of it. Let's uh, state this stuff all up. It is accepted culture over here because it, Georgian is an accepted culture. We have plenty of admin and plenty of governing cap, and that will lower our autonomy, which will give us a bunch of money. And I like money. I'm sure you guys can agree. So once I get up to 1,000, I will upgrade this guy because I've been talking about it. That way I can sink my dip Diplo mana into Sava and go even more behind on Diplo just to make people mad. You got lazy, lazy, uh, lazy missionaries. <laughs> I'm on one, guys. I'm on one. But tell me about your day. I want you guys to take a take a second. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. I had a couple of people who said, you know, I got some stuff going on in college. Got some stuff going on, you know, in my personal life. Had a surgery, you know. And uh, I just really, at the end of the day, hope you guys are all doing as well as you possibly can. I hope that you are thriving. I wish you nothing but success. Our regency is ending. That is fine because our heir is uh, actually better than our regent. So that's fine. Hopefully we get a decent personality trait here. That would be ideal. And uh, two more months, we'll be able to click this button. Sadly, it's dates, which is like not good. But I'm really hoping that it will. So let's see. Does that is that now finished? It is very good. All right. Hopefully it gets switched over to a better trade good when we do this. Cloth. Every province that is trade good related to carpets will be upgraded in the following order. Cloth turns into carpet if trade goods expanded is active. Cotton turns to cloth. Wool turns to cotton. Carpet will now be produced in Sava. Very good. Um, and local goods produced in Sava. Awesome. So I'm glad that I actually dev it up. I will go with the uh, Diplomana. Very good. He is a martial educator. Solid. 
That will help us out a bit. Very good. Weeds in the garden. Time to do some conversions. Oh, not you. What am I thinking? Once I integrate him, we're going to uh, convert a bunch of stuff as well. But we're going to get Holy War whenever we finally border the uh, the Mams, which is main reason why I'm not really doing much right now. So, total dev of at least 800 and eight provinces with a state house and sponsor Mandaras. So yeah, this isn't going to happen for at least 50 some years. This one we'll be able to get. This is one I've been really pushing for. So this is actually going to really help out our economy a bit. So I'm excited about that one. But most of this is just conquest stuff. This is our next war against the Ottomans. This is uh, up there. Kingdom of Hormuz. I think this is the next one that I'd like because getting a little bit of extra trade steered out of Basra would be good for us. So let's see here. That's going to require us to fight Transoxiana as well. So let's get down here. I mean, I am not worried at all about that prospect. I will have these guys out here as well. Let us see real quick. Before I pay off any loans, let's see if I can get a couple more sailors because that would help us out. We're actually just barely over. So that's good. Let's uh, see here. Does that actually affect how many we use? No, it does not. Having an admiral. Printing press is here, sadly. <laughs> Do I want to dev it? I might have to. It's fine, though. We can dev it pretty easy. Let's see here. Yeah, none of these provinces would be good for deving. Could dev in, like... Yeah, I think this is our best province to dev. So I could, like, upgrade this guy to a level 3 and dev in this province and then let it spread, but... It'll take longer that way. Um... I don't care. All right. Let's attack these guys. We've got lots of claims to be having. Holy War it is. And uh, let's get down here. Go down to speed four. And I just want to piece these guys out. So let's um, carbon siege them down ASAP. They got seven units. <laughs> That's pretty good. And I just saw four of them. There's the other three. So we're in a good spot. Shagatai will join, which is awesome. You want to help me out, Shagatai? There is uh, just mostly Transoxiana, a couple of people down here. Hormuz, I forget, is down here. So maybe I'll take all of this, which will actually give us a border into India. We can start getting into Gujarat, which will allow us to steer a ton more trade than we already are. Uh, that would be really good. Now, um, we are ahead on mill. I'm going to see if we can get some institution or innovativeness for it. And then if we cannot, I will then change my... Um, Oh, nice. I love innovativeness. For free? I mean, for money, but who cares? That's essentially free. Look how much money we make. We're just waiting on this guy here. Uh, so this mission here... we're gonna Once these uh, buildings are done building, I'm going to have to build workshops in all of them as well. So it's just going to take some time is all. Transoxiana is getting beat up on. None of these matter anymore. None of them are any good. So you suck and I hate you, says Sistan, you son of a gun. No innovativeness, really. All right. Well, if I'm not going to get innovativeness, I will just... Uh, do the dev. Look at that. We were at 101 before. We're now making 1,100 manpower monthly. That is so good. We also need to get our cannons down here because I don't have my cannons. I have my cannons spread out doing this carpet siege thing. So let's get our cannons over here. Doing our army a disservice by not allowing our cannons to uh, siege with them. All right. They're on their capital now. These guys need to win some sieges over here. No big deal. Sadly, these guys are getting sieged down. Uh, if they get occupied, we won't be able to continue annexing them. So I need to make sure that either they do not get onto them or they do not siege them down or um, we are able to get out of the war before they get occupied, which might actually happen, to be honest with you. We'll see. There's no fort over here. So it's like I could take this all right now, which is great. But uh, I also want to take everything over here. That's solid. It's a lot of AE, but it looks like that actually won't be an issue. So let's take a look here. This specific mission is uh, all provinces. So we're going to have to own Yas as well. Okay. That's fine. They don't have any allies I care about. So yeah, we'll be that'll be much easier for us. Let's get these guys up here. Yeah, they're going to... You don't continue annexation process until... Let's, uh, let's go to you. You do not... You lose... You do not continue see what's what i'm looking for your progress will pause if any of their provinces are occupied 
All right, I can get mill mana or mill innovativeness. Innovativeness for admin is what I'm trying to say. I have no idea why I'm like absolutely drooling on myself trying to ex trying to speak today. <laughs> this is good though. Nice. Okay, we can get a huge piece deal with these guys. Transfer their trade. That's the big one. The money's big as well. And then have you end your alliances with any of these guys over here because that is uh, important. There you go. Boom. Just like that. They should be willing to peace out as soon as this province is occupied. Or uh, if their war exhaustion goes up anymore. Occupation. Come on, baby. Zero reasons. Still zero reasons. Full occupied. There you go. Very good. How about that? That was pretty easy, right? So then these guys will come over here. I think we can speed five the rest of this if I had to guess. Because of this fort over here, we were being told that I wasn't able to. That's funny. But now look at that. We're actually gaining so we can leave our army. We can forget our army out at sea for years. A 422 Ishmael the second. Uh, it's not the best. I'm gonna go without him. See, look at this. These guys are so annoying. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Let's barrage these walls. Win this siege ASAP. I still want to make sure I get innovativeness if I can. And uh, who else is in this war? Just these guys over here. Sinned. Forgive me, father, for I have sinned. Yes, we are about at the wrapping up point. So I'm going to try to wrap this episode up. As we wrap up this war, of course. Oh, they moved their capital. What in the world? These guys moving their capital all over the place. Their capital was here last I looked, if I recall correctly. That's why I was putting emphasis on sieging that province down. All right. Let's uh, just take that right now. Take our idea. We're going to make sure we get our last idea before we do that. Our innovativeness is protected. Yep. Once we take his capital, I bet he's going to be much more willing to peace out. Uh, I can lose the admin. We are like, what is this? 20 years ahead of time, 18 years ahead of time on tech. So it's pretty good. So we get the extra pip for being, for sieging them down. Some of this stuff may actually still be turned on. Let me see here. Do I still have any defensiveness turned on? Not over there. Let's turn defensiveness on here and turn it off over here. That way they are, they're guaranteed to not be able to siege this down before we uh, finish up the war. There we go. Their capital has been sieged. I somehow, I have no general. Let's get a three siege general. Very good. Carpus siege, carpus siege, carpus siege. Nope, not going to do that. Now, all I want is this. That's it. This is a reasonable war, right? A reasonable piece I'm looking for. Let's uh, blockade them. There we go. Now we're talking. That is a solid peace deal. Let's uh, take what we can. Very good. I will yoink all of this. I will core all of it. I will attack Yas. When our advisor or our guy gets back, we will annex him. Now, this is just going to be a little bit of a longer episode, guys. I want to make sure that we're able to get that mission before. And by the way, we also need to be making sure that I am working on... So this one, I just need that one province, right? Yep. Is Overlord of Hormuz or Hormuz does not exist. Okay, I uh, didn't read that much. So we're not going to be able to get that today, apparently. Six own provinces. Okay, so... Let's see here. The wool provinces are going to need or not. Is it wool or cotton? Where did I build these guys? I think it's these ones, right? All right. Let's see here. Get rid of this church over here and build that. Did I build a manufacturer here? I did. This province here needs that. Um, let's get rid of the fort there. There's a fort here, and we can build another fort there. It's no big deal. This province here has a manufacturer building a workshop. This province here has the manufacturer building the workshop. Manufacturer building a workshop. Manufacturer building a workshop. So that's one, two. This one here also needs a workshop. So let's do that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should finish this mission. So I'm going to get that mission done before we finish. It's a sad, it's a bummer. Yeah, a coalition is going to start forming. Mamluks already joined. Let's attack the Mamluks. Since uh, we have holy war against them. Oh, we boarded them down here. 
You know what? Let's just do it. Screw it. I uh, think that's it's better than letting our coalition grow, right? And uh, I will do the war in the next one. So I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ding the bell and all that fun stuff. And uh, if you want to join the Discord, subreddit, Twitter, it's all linked in the description below, as well as my Patreon, guys. If you have it within your means and you want to support me, Patreon support is really big. It really is what allows me to do what I do for you every day, making these videos daily. So uh, if you want to support and it's within your means, check that link out below. That's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.